السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ و قولی ملکم بک دیئے بردرز و سیسرز الحمدللہ اس 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 کلاس فور فرم مدینہ بک ٹو انشاءاللہ کنٹینگ فرم آور لیسن آن لائسا we're going to learn more about Lysa today. So, we've learned yesterday that Lysa is a fail notice, which means it is an incomplete verb, which means we need to bring some more information to give it the meaning. Lysa means he is not. And we know whenever there is Lysa, we have Ism Lysa and we have Khabar Lysa. So, Lysa is a Fa'al. And we know that Fa'al, there are three types. So we have Fa'al Madi, and we have Fa'al Mudari, which is present tense, and we have Fa'al Amr, which is command. So most of the verbs, any verb which you take, which can be conjugated in past tense, present tense, and in Amr. For example, if you say Kataba, Yaktubu, so he wrote, he writes and write. So that's the normal verb sequence. However, Laisa, as we say, the meaning is which is he is not, and the verb itself is not a normal verb. So in Laisa, we don't have a present tense form of Laisa, and there is no command or Amr form of Laisa. So what we have is only past tense. Laisa is only in one form, which is the past tense. And therefore, it's called as Jamit, which means it's fixed. So it doesn't move. We don't have a present tense type of Laisa. We don't have a command. So it's just a one form. So it's fair Laisa, it's fair Nafis and Jamit. Fairlun, Nafis, Jamidun. And Laisa is used to negate only in nominal sentences. We have known few particles of negations like La and Ma, which means no. And this Laisa, which is also negation, and but it's used only in nominal sentence, that is Jumlat al Ismiya. It is not used to negate any verbal sentence. So we have a different particles for verbs, which we will be learning in future, inshallah. So we're going to go to our conjugation so just before we go to our main lesson so we get a good practice. So huwa laisa, huma laisa, hum laisu, iya laisat, huma laisata. So from hunna we know that it becomes lasna. So now we know why it becomes lasna because lam karima gets sukun and because second radical has got a sukun. So, ya being a weak letter, that letter is dropped completely. So, we get lasna. So, hunna lasna, anta lasta, antuma lastuma, antum lastum, anti lasti, antuma lastuma, antunna lastunna, ana lastu, nahnu lasta. And all in these forms, we don't look for a fa'il. So, we instead we call the dhamayr as ismu laisa which is marfu in, in opposite to inna whereas ismu inna is mansu ismu laisa is marfu and khabar laisa is mansu khabar laisa is mansu however most of the time in the quran and in classical arabic we see laisa comes the khabar comes with the harf charbi and that's why we see combination of jar majdur if there is no B, then that khabar would be mansub. So going to our lesson number two. So this is a discussion between Hisham and Bilal. So they're having a conversation and we will see how this conversation is built to understand this verb. So Hisham says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bilal replies, it says, وَعَلَيْكُمْ سَلَحْمْ رَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ أَيْفَ حَالُكَ يَا أَخِي and he says, مَنِ الْأَخُ so he replies to the salam and he says, how are you my brother? 
and he says uh, Manil Aho. It's a very nice form of saying, like so telling who are you? He says, who is this brother? So it's a very sweet way of asking, uh, who are you? So Manil Aho. Who is this brother? Sham says, Ana Mudarrisun Jadidun. So Ana Muttada Mudarrisun Khabar and Jadidun is your naat and bil jamiat is jar major so he says ana mudarrisut jadidun bil jamiati says ismi mudaf mudaf ilayhi ismi hishamun hisham he says ana again new sentence begins with muttada ana minal vilayatil muttahida muttahida ti see this is naat man oath min Afjar is a majdur and this is not so it is muttahida ti. So what is vilayatil muttahida ti? It is United States. So we translate a not first and then man also in United States. So I am from United States. Mr. Bilal says ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban dikayaqi which means welcome to you oh my brother. So ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban this is all mafoolun mutlaq and bika is there are two words here bihar charbi and ka is damir muttasi mudaf uh, is majroor ya akhi again akhi here is akhu plus ya mutakallim which is my brother and ya is harf nida so we can understand each and every letter in this sentence alhamdulillah this is ana masroor biliqaika so what does this means again this is a jumlatul ismiya ana muttada Masroorun means happy or pleased. Masroorun and bilqa'i b is harfja. Liqa'u is meeting. Liqa'i is meeting and ka is the bin muttasil again. It is harfja. Wa huwa mudaf and ka is mudaf ilayhi. This means to meet you. So it says I am happy or pleased to meet you. So Bilal says, Ana zameeluka. Ana mubtada zameelu is your khabar wa huwa mudaf inka is the mere muttasil mudaf ilayhi. So I am your colleague and ismi, my name is Bilalun. Bilalubn Hamidin. See, here it is ibn. But Hamzatul Wasal is dropped in the writing. So he says, Bilalubn Hamidin. Bilal Sanna Hamid. And he has a question to Hisham. Amin washin tuna. See, a is half is the farm. Min is half ja. Washin tuna. Why we have fatha here instead of kasra? Because this is a dip dot. Names of countries and cities is dip dot. So washin tunu will be washin tuna. Washin tuna. So Amin washin tuna. Anta ya Hisham. Are you from Washington? Hisham. Hisham says, La, so we know whenever there is a, then you have naam or la. So this is la, ana lastu. See, lastu means I am not. So what we are looking in here, we are looking for ism laisa and khabar laisa. So in lastu, which is the ism laisa, this ta, tu is ism laisa. And min wa shintuna is khabar laisa. Okay, Jar Majru. So, Ana Lastu, I am not from Washington. Inni, see, Inna Arfutaqid wa Naspin. Ya is the mere Muttasil. Mansu, Inni, and you're looking for Khabar Inna is in New York. Why a ka again? Because this is Diptor, a name of foreign country. Inni, in New York. And Bilal says again. A Muslim Abu Kaya Hisham is your father. See Abu Ka bin al Asma Khamsa. Wow, is a sign of Marfu. A Muslim Abu Ka Ya Hisham. So you say Hisham La Wa Laisa. See Wa Laisa. So we're looking for Isim Laisa. Where is Isim Laisa here? So we don't see anything from Marfu. So we know Isim is Marfu. So it is Mustatir Taqdeeru Huwa. So Huwa Laisa Bi Muslimin. See?
ليس بمسلم بهرجة أن مسلم is اسم مجرور so he is not a Muslim so بلاس وأمك أمسلمة هي so أمو رسكا اسم الله وضعف إليه and أمسلمة هي is she a Muslim شانسس لا هي ليست see because feminine now representing so that's why you got Tao Tani see but still we don't have a isim laisa we can't say anything with sign of Dhamma so it is Mustatir Takdirhu here and the khabar is Bi Muslimatin Jar Majroor she is not a Muslim so Bilal asks Alaka see a harf istafam laka is harf jarli plus ka we know the harf jarli is changing to la for phonetic reasons alaka abnaun see abnaun is plural for ibn ya hisham do you have children ya hisham says shamna li sittatu abnaun i have six boys abnaun Bilal says, Atullabu, hum, are they students? Shem says, La, hum, laisu. See, now we are asking, telling about the plural. Tullabu means a plural representing hum. So we say, hum, laisu. So, wow represents the ism laisa, which represents tullab. So, it says, La, hum, laisu, bitullabin. In Ba'dahum. So it's not Ba'dahum. We know Ism Laisa is Mansub. So we have In Ba'dahum Tujjarun. See, Khabar Laisa is Mansub. Tujjarun, one word. Wa Ba'dahum Muhandisuna. See, Muhandisuna. We get two patterns of plurals here, both in plurals and Jama Muzakka Salim. So Wa is a sign of Marfu. So all these things comes to your understanding. So Bilal says, Alaka Banatu, do you have uh, girls, girl, child, daughters? Isham says, Naam, Li, Khamsu Banatin. Li is Jar Majur, Shiba Jumla Khabar Muqaddam, Khamsu is Muqtada Muakhar, Mahua Mudaf, and Banatin is Mudaf Ilayhi, is a combination. So I have five daughters. Amutazawijatu See, Amutazawijatun Unna Are they Mutazawijatun means married Are they married? Isham says La Unna See, if there is Unna What type of negation we use it? Lasna See, Unna is a queen So obviously the Lam Kalima gets sukoon And Noon gets attached So it's Lasna Unna lasna bi mutazawijatin. Mutazawijatin. Mutazawijatun. Majroor form is mutazawijatin. Inna hunna. Again. Indeed they are. Sigarun. They are sigarun. That's khabar. Inna is marfu. So now. Ba'du hunna. So new sentence. Starting with. Ba'du. It is mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And hunna is mudaf ilayhi. بعضهن في المدرسة الابتدائية see in primary school وبعضهن في المدرسة المتوسطة in middle school and some of them in middle school so بلال اسكا ألكا إخوة do you have brothers إخوة is plural for أخو الشام says لا ليس لي See, so here we have to understand. So we got Laisa, and immediately after Laisa, we're getting Jar Majur. So we know Jar Majur is not a Marfu. So we have, so that cannot be Isam Laisa. So where are we looking for Isam Laisa? So it's Ikhwatun. So we have Ikhwatun, which is Marfu, which is a Marfu. So that becomes Isam Laisa. So how do we translate? Laisa Li, I don't have brothers. So literal transition will be I, uh, br Brothers don't have I don't have 
so in na so again so we got in na so we have to look for li salatha akhwatin again we have to look for ismu in na so we know ismu in na is mansub so li cannot be ismu in na because it is a jar major so we'll take this away so we'll look for the again next salatha so here salatha is ismu in na wa huwa mudaw akhwatin is mudaw ilayhi and li is khabar in na so here it does it is been switched around inna li thalatha akhawatin so i have three sisters bilal nas a muslimatun hunna are they muslims isham says na hunna muslimatun hunna muslimatun walhamdulillah so here the conversation ends between Hisham and Bilal so we used different forms of Laisa Laisa, Laisat, Laisu Lasna and Lastu so this is how it's used in Jumlatul Ismiya to negate any nominal sentence we're just going to do some practice where the Laisa comes with Harf Chardi say Hamidun Talibun so we say Hamidun Laisa bi Talibin Okay, if there is no B, then it will be Amidun Laisa Laisa Taliban. So it will be Laisa Taliban. If it comes with B, then it becomes Taliban. Same thing here Atullabu Atullabu Sigarun. So I guess Atullabu. Atullabu is a plural word. So we need to have a plural verb to represent them. So it's Laisu. Wow is the sign of. Uh, Ism Laisa, which represents Tullabu Bisigarin. Atullabu Laisu Bisigarin. So we're negating here. So if there is no B, then it'll be Atullabu Laisu Bisigarin. Aminatu Tabibatun. So how do we say to negate this? So Aminatu Laisat Bitabibatin. So this is a very classical, pure form of saying using. B and this is what you see in Quran most of the places. Al Fatayatu. See Fatayatu means young child. As a young uh young lady, not child, young lady. Mutazaw vijayatun. See? The young uh in the young girls are married. So we say Al Fatayatu Lasna bi Mutazaw Vijayatin. They are not married. So some more practice here. So how to use anta kabiru so if you use second person so you say lasta lasta bi kabirin anta lasta lasta is ism laisa so again antum jududun so lastum bi jududin anti faqiratun so anti faqiratun lasti bi faqiratin antunna Mujtahidatun, mujtahidatun means hard working. So you're telling uh, all the women, antunna, so you say, lastunna bi mujtahidatin, so you're not hard working. Ana mudarrisun, so you say, ana lastu bi mudarrisin, so I am not mudarrisin, so we use only for the nouns, we don't use last laisa and lastu for any verbs. So, nahnu tullabun. So, we say nahnu lasna bi tullabin. We are not students. So, this is how we use the verb laisa. So, inshallah, we will stop here and we will continue in our next session. Assalamu alaikum.